Octavio, the last two Gold Cups have seen Canada without a win, uh, without a goal. Um, they've been criticised in the past for being too pragmatic, too, too defensive. You come here and you use words such as dynamicism and attacking. Um, are the players more comfortable, do you think, playing that system compared to the, the previous more defensive approach? Well, um, the important thing here, I think, is that uh, the players uh, have a level of comfort that, um, that allows them to have the freedom to go forward and to attack. Um, you know, that level of comfort only comes from having a, a good defense. So um, I, I know as a player, when you have a good line of defense, y you feel uh, a little bit freer, a little bit uh, more at liberty to, to take risks, to go forward, etc. So um, th our at attacking mentality and our idea of going forward is predicated on, on the basis of, of having a, a solid uh, line of defense. That, that is really what's going to determine many things. Uh, we want to play in a certain way. Uh, but uh, we have to be cognizant of the fact of what we have um, in our squad and, and, and be pragmatic when the time comes. It, we may have to defend, we don't always attack. But uh, I think um, uh, for uh, what we want to do in the, in the long term is to have a Canadian team that is definitely an attack-minded team. But how hard is it for you as a coach? You've just come here. Um, the Curacao match, we, we saw that. It's not long to prepare a side for, for a big tournament, especially playing a slightly different system to, to the past. Um, is that a big challenge for you? Are you impressed with the way the players have adapted so far? Well, it's, it's a short period of time. Uh, you've said it. Uh, we, um, we are having the same time that, that all the other coaches have within their team, so we can't... Um, ask for any more than what we have because that's the reality. So we have crafted our sessions in such a way where we feel that we have made our point across to our guys. Um, I saw glimpses uh, of it uh, uh, during the Curacao match of what we want. Um, I am obviously not completely satisfied with the whole uh, um, performance because it was our first match etc and you hope that as we are getting together more and more those ideas are, are taking hold and the players are able to execute uh, we will see this is a great opportunity for us to showcase uh, that but uh, ha having said that you know every every uh, game presents a different set of circumstances you know uh, playing French Guiana is one thing playing other ri rivals is another thing so uh, we, we want to get to our own identity slowly but surely. Canadians need hope. They're, they're demanding hope from their football team. Uh, we saw Alfonso Davies come off the bench in the last match, looked very good. Uh, Jackson Hamel looked very good as well. Um, what roles do you foresee those two players playing over the next couple of weeks? Well, I think Alfonso is a, a guy that uh, made an immediate uh, first impression that uh, everybody, everybody probably was expecting because of his performance in the, in the MLS. Uh, Mark Anthony is just coming on as of late as a, as a very good clutch player. He is a, he's a player that uh, when he has had the time to come into a game, um, he, he's, he's made a difference. He did it in the last match. So uh, against Curaçao, he was the one that scored. Um, so, we, we have to kind of take the best from each, each player, and, and those two players as only two, are only two of a, of a bigger group, Petrasso, uh, Fraser, uh, there's, there's other players that are also uh, in this group that I think can contribute a lot, and they are, they are young players as well. I must ask you, uh, 17 years ago, Canada won the Gold Cup. I'm sure back in those days, you didn't expect to one day be coaching Canada. Um, do you remember that tournament, and, and how surprised were you to see Canada lift that championship? I do remember that tournament because I was here in New York coaching the, the New York team. And, um, and that year, the year 2000, was perhaps uh, the best uh, year for that franchise in its history. Uh, so uh, we were keen to see uh, our, you know, I mean, our name.
neighbors to the north at that time. Uh, and it, it was somewhat surprising, I must admit, because, um, because I, I didn't expect uh, Canada to go that far. But uh, once you see um, player by player the, the individuals involved in that, in that campaign, um, it, it really is not that surprising because uh, you have uh, guys like uh, Jason DeVoe, um, Paul Staltieri, who is now part of our our team, and, and, and other players, uh, Forrest, I mean, players of optimum, optimum quality playing for that team. So it was a legitimate win in a, in a, in a situation where Canada um, managed to assemble a very good group of, of players, and, and they came through when, when it counted. Well, let's hope for another surprise uh, this year. Thanks so much, and uh, good luck. Thank you very much.